I think I'm going to do a little recap of what's been happening in baldness correction. A few years ago, we were looking at hair pieces. Everybody knows about hair pieces. We use them, we put them in place, we still put them in place. This is a very agreeable product, which is very useful for clients, but now it's a little bit outdated. It's really part of the world of primary wigs. We're not going to go into more detail on it. It's a product that still has a market. Then we moved on to hair contact. This is the follow-up to hair pieces. We're kind of halfway. So we had already reached something very light, something very nice to look at, that was put on a type of skin or membrane that had life expectancy of several months. We had done a huge step forward. We had moved on from hair piece to something very light, very thin, very nice to look at. Then, a few months later, we moved on to hair integration, the integration of disposable hair. So, in this case, we're using very thin membranes, injected human hair. This hair has a life expectancy, and so this is more like a service, which is to say that in the institutes, we will apply the hair, and then we will cut it. It is a type of service, a package, and it will last for four, four weeks. Every four weeks, the patient or client will get new hair with a haircut that they like and they can change it as they wish. They have total freedom of choice of density, volume, lightness, color, percentage of gray hair. So for one and a half hours spent in an institute per month, you will be able to get your hair back. And we really are very far from the world of wigs here. We're really moving towards uh, tooth re teeth replacements or breast implants. You can dive, you can wear a helmet, you can sleep, you can swim. It is part of you. So I'm going to ask Tony Sierra, who is the president of New Image, how he sees the future. What does he think will be the development of this type of hair? Very big future, especially in disposable <laughs> hair. Very fine, natural looks. Un grand, grand futur, spécialement dans le je cheveu jetable. Uh, C'est de plus en plus beau, de plus en plus fin. Ça évolue énormément. Uh, the man today wants to look natural. L'homme d'aujourd'hui veut avoir une, une image naturelle. And I think that the, the products today that we're coming up with, not only New Image, but the whole industry, is revolutionizing hair replacement. Et aujourd'hui, les produits qui arrivent sur le marché, pas seulement de New Image, mais de tout le monde, sont en train de révolutionner le marché. Je vais peut-être poser quelques questions à monsieur. So, I'm going to ask Mr. Christ some questions. And he is from the Uni Hair Group. So, the same to you. Would you like to describe your job? I think you're going to talk about, about your fibers. Yes, I totally agree with what Tony said. This integration product, which we also call second skin, it's really a very thin membrane which we inject fibers into. We have been making these choices for about 15 years. It can also be done with hair, and these products give an excellent result. This allows men to do whatever they like. They can change their haircut every month and they can live absolutely normally. I'd like to know how this um, hair integration, disposable hair, is made. So I know Tony has created a film on the creation of this. Can we watch the film? So this is a very short film which was done in your factories to show the audience what an incredible amount of work has to be done to create these uh, hair integration pieces. So it takes from 100 hours to 210 hours to be able to 
create one disposable integration. Here we can see the hair being sorted by hand. This is done, of course, in factories which are under their control, but placed in China. There are hours and hours of work to reach perfection. You only need the best hair, the elite. These are not technicians, these are artisans. So now we're going to have it explained to us. Voilà maintenant comment le cheveu va être inserté. So this is how the hair is inserted one by one onto the base. This is a huge amount of work done by hand, hair by hair. At least 60 hours to 70 hours. Ce travail tout seul, simplement cette implantation. So just this task, just the implantation, takes 60 to 70 hours of work, just for the implantation of one entire hair integration piece. But you can see they're going very, very fast. But it takes nearly 70 hours to finish one disposable hair integration. Not to break the hair, not to break the membrane. Alors, une des grosses difficultés, so one of the most difficult things is that you have to be very professional so that you don't break the hair and even more difficult to avoid breaking, tearing or making the base more fragile because it is already so thin. When you think that this is only worn for four weeks and it takes 70 hours just to implant the hair, people are working here with most of them are made this way all of them so what you are seeing on stage being cut right now all of these hair pieces were made in this way when a woman runs her hands through the hair of a man who is wearing disposable hair integration can she feel it no if it's been well stuck on and if the borders between the hair and the hair integration are well done, then you don't feel it. I know this gentleman works in capillary management. What does it feel like? You don't feel anything. There is no difference. So as you see, there's no difference. It's so light, it's so discreet, it's so useful. You can scratch your head, you can live your life, you can wear a helmet. I know that in my institute in Nice, the best thing somebody can say to me is, I don't think about my hair anymore. <laughs> 